This is Twit. Openbenchmarking.org is a component of the Phronix test suite, basically like a cloud component. Uh, it's where anyone running our open source benchmarking software is able to basically upload their test results uh, to collaborate mm. with others, as well as uh, serving as a remote repository or package management system for being able to download tests remotely for the Phronix test suite. So basically that tests are unbound from like a given Phronix test suite version. And for mm -hmm. any individuals to upload their own test cases that are compatible with the Phronix test suite. So it's basically, mm -hmm. well, I wouldn't call it a social network, but yeah, just sort of like a cloud component for um, all things benchmarking that are run via the Phronix test suite. Uh, there's over mm -hmm. 1 million benchmark results, uh, more than 26 million test profiles and test suites have been downloaded from there uh, for the Phronix test suite for facilitating that benchmarking. And mm. um, uh, yeah, over a thousand different uh, combinations of tests and suites available. That's amazing. And am, am I right in thinking that the, the Phronix test suite is a, like a, a distribution that you would install or you would run off a live CD or something? Uh, the Phronix test suite is what I had developed. Uh, uh, back in 2004, I founded Phronix.com for Linux hardware reviews. And then since 2006, I've been developing the Phronix test suite in collaboration with various companies. Uh, it's a software package that's available on most Linux, distribu Linux distributions or can be installed on the other uh, Linux distributions from our GitHub repository, uh, as well as BSDs, Mac OS, and others. Um, there used to be a live CD for basically being able to boot up the live CD and run benchmarks straight away. I haven't updated mm. that software in a few years just for lack of time. So right now it's basically a, a standalone open source benchmarking framework for taking care of automating all sorts of different tasks from like Apache benchmarks to game benchmarks to all sorts of different uh, workloads. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michael, I want to jump in and say, first off, I am not nearly as creepy as Dan makes me sound wanting to know all about <laughs> your past. <laughs> he already so knows it, that. He's already yeah, got I guess. file. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, pharonix.com came first? Is that is that what you just said? How, what's the story behind that? How did you get started on uh, reporting Linux news and, and uh, hardware information? Uh, yeah, so I started pharonix.com in June of 2004, uh, being basically dissatisfied. At the state of Linux hardware at that time where USB mice would often give you problems under Linux and installing the graphics drivers would often be much more painful than they are today where you'd have to deal with a zorg.conf configuration file a lot more and all sorts of other headaches involved. Uh, so I started phronix.com to basically provide Linux hardware reviews for what works under Linux and what doesn't and all sorts of information like that. And then yeah, I eventually got into Linux news and coverage of different kernel changes that benefit hardware and everything along those lines. And then, yeah, out of that, the Phronix test suite was born for basically formalizing all the test scripts that I had begun writing internally for being able to review this hardware and benchmark it and formed it into its own open source project. Mm 